Hello everyone, as you know coronavirus is prevailing all over the world nowadays so we cannot meet in school but class 12th is as important for you all. So we need to study our syllabus and in class 12th accountancy I will be telling you that there are three books which will be applicable in your syllabus. First book is for partnership. The second book is for companies and not-for-profit making organization and the third book is part B analysis of financial statement we are going to start with the chapter of analysis of financial statement what is analysis of financial statements financial statements present a mass of complex data in absolute monetary terms and reveals little about liquidity solvency and profitability of the business there are two methods of financial analysis the one is horizontal method and another is vertical method. The horizontal method statements for number of years are reviewed and analyzed. It is to be done for two or more years and figures are placed side by side. The second method is vertical analysis. It is done for one current year and reviewed and analyzed with the help of proper devices like ratios. There are purposes of financial analysis. It is for measuring the profitability whether the company is earning profit or not second to measure the solvency whether the company is in this situation to pay back its debt properly or not on time third to measure financial strength to make comparative study with the firms we need to compare our accounts with other firms that's why we prepare financial statement analysis to measure the capability of payment of interest and dividends for, to the shareholders and to debenture holders to identify the trends of the business to judge the efficiency of management and to provide useful information to the management there are some uses of financial analysis that is for taking investment decision whether the company has to invest further or not for that they need financial analysis for taking credit decisions for taking dividend decision then for estimating trend of the business then for taking various managerial decisions there is some importance of financial analysis what is this importance it is important for management significant for management then it is for creditors creditors see all the accounts all the ratios and what is the financial position of the business then only they give credit to any firm then it is significant for government as they level uh, gst on us then significance for financial institutions for employees then stock exchange authorities taxation authorities for research and other parties too as everything has some advantages it has some disadvantages too so there are some limitations of financial statement analysis and they are limitations of financial statements is given in financial statements are sometimes incomplete and unauthentic then it is affected by window dressing we just show over amount or sometimes we show under amount that is window dressing then do not reflect the changes in price level different accounting policies are being adopted by companies if we will follow the same policies then comparability between the two companies is possible otherwise it is not possible then effect of personal ability and bias of the analyst every analyst is different from another so there can be bias then difficulty in forecasting, lack of qualitative analysis, limited use of single years analysis of financial statement. This is all in this chapter and we are going to continue with the next topic in the next video. Thank you.